Mine happened. Uh, can you sit down? The Secretary of Agriculture, Manuel Piñol, Acting Secretary of Foreign Affairs, Enrique Manalo, and the members of the Cabinet, Senator Alan Peter Caetano, Ambassador Designate Eduardo Capunan Jr., Engineer Agnes Udang, fellow workers in government, my beloved countrymen, I cannot tremble on to some other topics. Uh, I am running short of time. I will just read the prepared speech. I live today for the Republic of the Union of Myanmar and the Kingdom of Thailand. These official visits form the final leg of my introductory trips to my colleagues and friends in ASEAN. These are timely meetings as our country prepares to host the 30th ASEAN Summit and related meetings in Manila this April. Myanmar is our Asian neighbor and friend with whom we have had relations for more than six decades now. My visit will underscore our commitment to deepen partnership with Myanmar towards brighter and better future. As developing countries with similar historic experiences and facing the same challenges, we can use the synergies of interest as basis for our threatened cooperation. This is true in combating traditional emerging transnational crimes, including terrorism and violent extremism, piracy, and the illicit drug trade. We have also a common interest in sustaining inclusive growth and the development of our peoples. Myanmar's economic development is recognized as one of the fastest in our region. And therefore, bilateral trade and investment will be the key area of discussion. With expanding Philippine business making their own around the, uh, the region, and in Myanmar, we can encourage collaboration in mutually beneficial sectors of growth, including in pharmaceuticals and food and beverages. In NIPDO, I look forward to discussions of these matters with President O. Tin Cho, and I shall also meet State Councilor on Foreign Affairs, Dung Du Ong Sang Chu Shi, the Commander in Chief of the Defense General Mili Military, Commander Min Ong La Ing. In my discussions, I will convey the Philippine support for the reforms undertaken by Myanmar, as well as its efforts to address challenges of certain problems in these regions. From Myanmar, I will proceed to Thailand among our ASEAN friends and neighbors in the Philippines. Philippines has been the longest, had had the former stronger relationship with Thailand for 40, 87 years, 67 years rather. It is fitting that our state of ASEAN, I make this important trip So a co-founder in ASEAN in the capital where the foundation of ASEAN was laid 50 years ago. In my visit to Bangkok, I will renew the Philippines' commitment to further enhance our excellent relations with Taiwan. There is much at stake in relations. We have to move forward together on shared interests in securing security and stability in the region as we seek to sustain growth and development for our peoples. I look forward to meeting Prime Minister Rayot Ochacha Ochancha to discuss strengthening defense relations, intensifying trade and investment, and enhancing education cooperation among others. I also am scheduled to meet 
members of the corporate sector in Thailand to discuss economic opportunities in the Philippines. In both Myanmar and Thailand, I welcome the importance of meeting our Kababayan who have been key partners in program for positive change and reform in our government. I will thank them for the support and apprise them of the developments in the country. These visits will complete my swing of our ASEAN neighborhood. It will presage the important regional leadership role reposed upon us for this historic ASEAN year. I remain humbly your president to look after our nation's interests as I seek to pursue the collective objectives of the ASEAN region. We will strengthen partnership for positive change as we engage our region and the world. Maraming salamat po.